Democratic Republic of Congo, where protests have erupted against President Joseph Kabila's plans to stay in power beyond his mandate, which expired Monday night. President Kabila has appointed Sami Badibanga, a former opposition politician, as prime minister. CCTV's Clementine Logan sent this update from the capital, Kinshasa. Sporadic gunfire has been heard across the city throughout the day as groups of protesters, some burning tires in the streets, faced off against security forces. Dozens have been arrested with unconfirmed reports of several protesters being shot. Opposition leader Etienne Chisikedi has denounced President Joseph Kabila's plans to stay in power beyond his final term as a coup d'etat and urged the Congolese people to protest peacefully. In parts of the city, they've been met with tear gas, water cannon and live fire. We're tired of him. He has to go. We are tired of him. He should leave. Instead, he installs a new government while we are sleeping at 1 a.m. We are tired of him. In an extraordinary move, Kabila's government was reinstated during Monday night, this time with a member of an opposition faction, Sami Badibanga, as prime minister. He addressed the media earlier today. As I prepare to undertake my role at the head of the government approved by a large consensus, I'd like to call for peace and tranquility across the Republic. To our international partners, I assure you of my government's readiness to work together in a spirit of mutual respect and collaboration to overcome the socio-economic and financial challenges that the country faces. And in order that this period may lead to peaceful, transparent and credible elections. Negotiations between the government and opposition are due to resume on Wednesday, but with a newly formed government already in place to lead the country until elections, it says in 2018, it's unlikely a political compromise can be reached. Clementine Logan, CCTV in Kinshasa.